Okay, so hi there. In this video, we're going to talk about some history and foundations of mathematics. Actually, this is going to be a batch of videos. And we're going to start with this one, which will show you the early number systems, okay, or the first parts of the early number systems. So let's get into it. Let's have some in uh, discussion first. So the question is, do you know any early number systems? Do you know any of that? Uh, maybe you will think of um, the Roman numerals, all right? So one that is one number system, okay? So again, a number system is a system of symbols used in for us to understand um, or have a representation of numbers. So you may think of the Babylonians, the Egyptians, the uh, Mayans, okay, what else? There's a lot more. Roman numerals come in a little bit in the, in the, in the modern part. And of course, the Hindu Arabic is the one we're doing right now. So you may think of a lot more, okay? Again, um, I think you will you have in mind which is which are the Egyptians and the um, Mesopotamians or Babylonians. So we will get to that in the next video. But in here, we need to define some important definitions first, okay? Before we delve into the foundations of what mathematics are. So we're going to talk about some early number systems. And before that, we'll have to define these. So the term, the term mathematics is, in Greek, is what we call mathemata, which means any subject of instruction or study. Okay, so it is any subject or instruction of study. Now we use the word mathematics to, to indicate that it's a science of patterns or, you know, specifically with numbers. It's dealing with numbers. So that's a very broad definition of, of, of mathematics. It may also mean what what one gets to know so what one gets to know that's also the meaning of the word mathematics um generally it is the study of issues of a quantitative or spatial in or spatial nature okay the study of issues of a quantitative or spatial in nature as in in space okay it may deal with numbers with size as in, in geometry orders and form okay and form for example, enumerating livestock. This is one of the earliest um, form um, wherein we use mathematics. So we count the number of sheep we have. We count the number of, of our chickens, of our goats, cows, or whatsoever. Um, we tally objects for barter when that is we use mathematics there. Or mark the passage of days. Okay, We mark the passage of days in sticks and using pebbles or such. Now, let us define first number. Numbers are actually the fundamental abstraction. It's an ab abstract It's an abstract reasoning or an abstract um, uh, symbol for one such thing. It's telling us how many in quantity are those things. There is an archaeological evidence of, of counters and counting systems in some of the earliest human cultures. Why? Because it is necessary for administration, administrating what in agriculture, um, in farming, in land, and whatsoever. Let's start with with agriculture. So, what is the the connection of numbers and agriculture? Now, you when you keep track of the amount of land allocated to a farmer, the quantity of harvest, and any taxes or duty to be paid required a well developed system of measuring and counting. So, we need counting whenever we want to to keep track of the land, the number of livestock, the, num the quantity of the harvest, and any taxes that deals with. Okay, So that's the, the, the um, connection of number and agriculture. Okay, Now, take note, numbers are abstractions. Okay, It is something to know um, that three sheep plus two sheep always equals five sheep, and that cannot be changed. Or that three urns and two urns are five urns okay so it is a big step to realize that three of anything plus two more of them makes five of them or three plus two equals five okay the same thing in algebra when we talk about or we when we say something like three x plus two x it's going to be it's going to be equal to 5x okay this x could be anything okay uh, like in variables okay so 
X can be the sheep, X can be the urns, okay? But the thing is, when we add 3 plus 2, it's going to be always 5. So this is pure numbers are abstractions. The pure numbers are just for abstractions, okay? So that's also one thing why our students have a hard time in algebra because they have this hard time in abstracting things. Yeah, you know, in algebra, we introduce already the, the concept of variables, the x, the y, the z, and a lot more variables. But some students will have a hard time to understand or cope with those abstractions. So the thing is, um, abstractions are always there in maths. Okay. Um, the question is, would you agree, okay, to this statement? Only civilized, only a civilization that has a well-developed written numbers number system and has discovered rules for manipulating those numbers has the chance of moving on to science. Would you agree on that? Okay, that only a civilization that has a well-developed written number system and has discovered rules for manipulating those numbers has a chance of moving on to science. Well, definitely yes. Without numbers, without mathematics, we won't be here sitting in front of us with laptops, with computers, with cell phones, because we need mathematics in all those in all those things. The computer, the name itself, computer, suggests that it it counts something, it it processes something because it computes something. That's why it's called a computer. Okay? And everything in technology in which it came from science, everything is is of mathematics. As we know, uh, mathematics is everywhere. It's everywhere. So without mathematics, I am very sure that we cannot move on into a better science, a higher science, and such. So that would be the answer for this. Next question is, what is the earliest and most immediate technique for visibly expressing the idea of a number? Can you guess on that? What is that? Okay. It's counting, but it's a different kind of counting. It's it's even earlier than counting. We call that tallying. So you you write on something, you put some tick marks in order to you to for you to uh, to remember that um, how many steps did you or how many um, sheep, how many cows have you already counted? Now tally marks. Um, the first known form of counting is tally marks. When ancient people just write on everywhere or maybe on a piece of wood. Okay, or um, using pebbles, stones for tallying how many, say, livestock they have. It is best for grouping, okay, used for grouping. For instance, we have two views here of the Ishago bone, where in each of the bone you can see that there are tally marks on, on the bones. Um, it may be the tally marks of how many livestock they have, um, the, the number of the amount of land that they have, but um, the thing is, we it's very evident that um, human beings before 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 anything else before the computers are able to use counting okay because we need counting okay and then this is the earliest form of them tally marks okay so furthermore one has to match the collection to be counted with some easily employed set of objects so for instance here he is counting the number of cows or carabaos he have so he is using pebbles to do so, okay? For instance, sheep could be counted by driving them one by one through a narrow passage while dropping a pebble for each so that we may know how many sheep you have already. So we use pebbles um, as a sort of tally. And with that, counting, okay, we count. Um, during the night, um, the pebbles were moved from one pile, one place, to another until all the sheep had been accounted for. Okay, so that's how the ancient people use pebbles, you know, as tally marks, and they are being used for counting. Okay, this is just one example of one example of many many applications of tally marks. Next, aside from tallying, the number string, okay, is best illustrated by the knotted cord known as quipus. Okay. Um, plural for quipi, quipu rather, okay. But if they have a lot, we have quipus. So these are this is uh, quipus here. This is the method of quipus, wherein um the the number of tallying of knots um is being accounted for. Um, if it is one one fold, it's one. It's two fold, it's two, three, four, five, 
up until nine, and then you put that on like a, on a necklace thing, and then you put all the strings there, and then that will tell you how many things you have, okay, how, in, in whatever form you have, and whatever you are counting when you're tallying. So, um, tallying is not the only method for counting, but here, equip us. Um, this started, or this, the one who, who used this is our Inca, the Inca um, civilization. Okay, for them to easily count um, objects. Okay. And actually, that's the end of part one for our early number systems. Um, I will be creating more okay, in, the near, in the near future. And thank you very much for watching. I hope that you would like and also subscribe. Okay, so thank you very much.